So now moving on to the NFC games. Both of these games will be on Sunday. So the first game, I think it's at noon, would be Saints-Vikings. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this game will be a blowout. The Saints will win this game 31-13. to Kirk Cousins, in his whole career, is 0-9 on Monday Night Football. Those are all Monday Night Football, big spotlight, big games, 0-9. In his two years with the Vikings so far, he has only beat a team over 500 twice. So two years, over 500, two wins. Both of those games, both of those wins, were against the 9-7 and Eagles team. Both years, Eagles 9-7, and both years, those were the wins. So the only time they can beat a good team is when they play the Eagles, who aren't even the elite of the elite. And that should go to show you that Cousins does not perform in those big-time games. Yes, sometimes he does put up the numbers, right? The, Kirk Cousins is, the great. I think, the greatest quarterback ever at putting up numbers that mean absolutely nothing. He might throw for 300 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. I mean, three touchdowns. But he, he has a way of doing stuff like that in garbage time. Or he has a way of doing it in the first two quarters, but then disappearing in the fourth quarter. It's never when you need him to do it. He just does it when it's not, when there's no pressure, when no one really cares. So that at the end of the game, you look at the stat sheet and you go, oh, Kirk Cousins had a good game. But if you watch the games, you can see in those big moments, he never comes through. And this is going to be the biggest moment of his whole career, playing the Saints in the Dome against Drew Brees and Sean Payton. Like I said before on previous shows, the Saints have been my favorite to get to the Super Bowl, get up the NFC this whole season, and nothing has really changed on their end. They can run the ball with Alvin Kamara. Brees is still very accurate in the short to medium range. And Sean Payton is a lot more aggressive than Mike Zimmer, who is known for being a very conservative coach. And I don't think you can be a conservative coach playing in New Orleans in this playoff games. You have to take risks. You have to go for it on fourth and one, fourth and two. The Saints are out to win the whole thing this year. You, you have to come in punching, and I just don't think Zimmer is that kind of coach. If you think about the the Saints offense, right? Breeze, Kamara, and Michael Thomas, that might be the best combination of skills player on the offensive end in the whole league. You can make an argument with the Chiefs, which I will later on also. But that, are, if not the best, that's top two in terms of skill players in the league. I actually, I would argue them one because I like Kamara at running back more than what um, Kansas City has. So, yeah, I think they have the best skills players in the league. Um, they have a defense this year. I, I just think this is, this is their year, and I don't see the Vikings as the kind of team to come in and beat them. They don't have the kind of quarterback with, quite frankly, the guts to go beat them or the coach who's going to put it all out on the line to beat them. So I definitely see the Saints winning this game. I think it's going to be a blowout. I think by the third quarter, the score will be ran up. And I think that this will this game will help my case as to why I think the Saints will make it. Um Oh, and also, this is a revenge game. I forgot about that. This is a revenge game for the Saints. Two years ago, the Viking beats the Saints on a prayer. Case Keenum just chunked it up, and Stephon Diggs caught it. And I don't know what the corner was doing, if y'all remember that play. But he didn't. He put his head down and tried to tackle him, and he didn't even get close. It was probably the worst defensive play in NFL history, and it was one of the biggest prayers ever thrown by a quarterback and caught and like this is a revenge game the saints are the saints most definitely remember that moment and they're going to come out they're going to come out ready to fight and they're going to come out and be the aggressors and i just don't think it's going to be close i got saints winning 31 to 13